Thank God for Freddy's Dead, because we wouldn't have gotten New Nightmare. New Nightmare stars Heather Langenkamp, Wes Craven, and is directed by Wes Craven. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to get a little sad because we are almost done with the Nightmare reviews. We only have this one and then the remake. But I'm happy too because these last two are really fun movies, they're good, and I have been looking forward to reviewing these two. Really, the Nightmare movies, I wanted to review uh, the first three and then the last two. And everything else in the middle was kind of uh, a chore to get through. But there were some nice surprises because I actually ended up enjoying The Dream Child. So anyway, on to the review for New Nightmare. So Freddy's Dead came out and the opening weekend was actually pretty huge. It was uh, the biggest for the whole franchise up until Freddy vs. Jason. But it was a critical failure. Everybody seemed to hate this movie. It was not good at all. I mean, let's face it, people flock to the Cedars, A, because it's a horror movie, and B, because it's Freddy and it's supposedly his last movie. But I think Bob Shea wasn't satisfied, you know. I think he wanted it to be a critical success, not just a box office success. And there had been years and years of bad blood between Robert Shea and Wes Craven. So Robert Shea really wanted to make amends. And he reached out to Wes Craven and he said, hey, you know what? I've heard that you've made some comments in the past and I kind of want to right the wrongs. So what he did was he asked him to come back. He actually gave him points on all the Nightmare sequels and Wes Craven agreed to make this movie. The first question that people might say is, what is up with the plot for New Nightmare? Because it is completely different than the previous ones. I mean, Freddy is essentially stalking the actors that play the characters in the first Nightmare movie. But there's a reason why Wes Craven wrote the script like this. He went back and watched the first six Nightmare movies and the continuity was just completely bonkers. So he really didn't know how to continue the story. So he thought, hey, this is really my one out. I will make it so the movies are just that. They're movies, they're not reality. And Freddy, because he's in the dream world, there aren't any rules for Freddy. He can actually come into the real world, and that's what he did. He actually came into the world of the actors. So right away, out the gate, you're interested. It's an interesting plot. It's something that's really never been done before in any type of movie, even horror movies. At least not on as successful a scale as this. And I love the opening of this movie because it is very similar to the opening of the original. And I love the opening of the original, the music, uh, you can hear the sounds of the screeching in the boiler room. And we get to see Freddy making his iconic glove. And that's what this scene does. Wes Craven is actually directing a scene at the beginning of this movie of Freddy constructing a new glove. And right away, things start going haywire. And they affect Heather Langenkamp. Heather Langenkamp is actually asked to come back and do a new Nightmare movie, kind of like Jamie Lee Curtis was in H2O, except we get to see the behind the scenes of that process, which is just a cool aspect of this movie. It's not just witnessing a horror story, it's also witnessing the creation of a horror story. And I'm a big film buff and I like behind the scenes material and that is just an added treat. It's really just icing on the cake. But Heather Langenkamp has no interest really in being in this movie. All of a sudden, all these weird things start happening. She starts getting calls from Freddy. And her son is having all these dreams about Freddy. So she starts investigating why all these weird things are happening. Why she is actually getting calls from a Freddy. And she finds out that a script was written by Wes Craven. And the script is New Nightmare. And things start happening in real time. And the only way she can end this New Nightmare is to face Freddy once and for all. Oh, fuck you. Guys, there are so many cool elements of this movie. And it's a shame that it wasn't a box office hit originally. And I think people were just tired of Freddy. They had a bad taste in their mouth from Freddy's Dead. And even Wes Craven directing the new movie couldn't get people to come to the theater. Plus, it was a different time for horror movies. Really, horror was dead. 
ever since the late 80s. And the only thing that brought it back was Scream, or at least brought back slasher movies. And Scream was directed by Wes Craven. And you can see the beginnings of the Scream era in New Nightmare, actually. One thing I love about this movie is it's so fresh. It feels like a, a new slasher movie, even though Freddy's in it. It doesn't feel like the previous Freddy movies. And it pays respects to the first Freddy movie. I also love the return of Heather Langenkamp. And she's not Nancy, she's actually Heather Langenkamp. And she really sinks her teeth into this role. She does a great job. And you can tell that she was happy to be back. And I've seen interviews with her and she would come back in a heartbeat. She loves this franchise and it shows in New Nightmare. Also, I have to talk about Freddy. Thank God Freddy is dark again. This is the first time Freddy's been dark since the first two movies. Miss me. There are really no comedic one-liners in this movie. Freddy plays him more like a demon and his look is a lot different than the original look. Do I like it better? No, I don't. I like it better than his look in part five and part six. But to me, the look of Freddy in the first movie is the best. Now this movie doesn't have that many Freddy kills, but there is a good kill in it. And it's kind of a homage to the first Freddy movie, uh, the babysitter kill. And she starts walking up the walls. But in this scene, you actually see Freddy, whereas you didn't see Freddy in the first movie. And I think the scene actually worked better in the first movie. It was it was nicer not seeing Freddy, and it was just freaky watching the actress, you know, bounce up and down the walls, and she's bleeding like crazy. But it was still cool to see, you know, that scene come to life again. Now, as far as any cons for New Nightmare, I think if I had to pick it apart, I'd say that most of the movie actually takes place in the daylight. And I think shooting the movie in the daylight actually kind of takes away from the creepiness of it. And also, Freddy's not in this movie that much. You don't really even see Freddy until the last third of the movie. So in the end, guys, New Nightmare is a good movie. I would definitely give it a purchase worthy. And it's refreshing. I'm glad that they got the series back on track. And it's a fitting, I guess, ending to the series. So what are your thoughts on New Nightmare? Looking forward to hearing them. Also, guys, make sure you check out my Nightmare on Elm Street playlist where I have all my reviews for the series. And also check out my horror reviews playlist as well as my Friday the 13th and Halloween playlist. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd, and drum them out.